Hi, this is Steve Miller. I'm actually standing out in front of my local Starbucks right now, and uh, it's a beautiful day here in Seattle. I'm actually just finishing playing golf here. Uh, it's super hot today. It's about 90 degrees, something like that. I'm having a great time, but uh, this day is kind of special because you see tomorrow, this is August 15th. Tomorrow, August 16th, is my daughter's 16th birthday. Now, I've often said that I did not have a midlife crisis when I turned 40. I did not have a midlife crisis when I turned 50, but I'm certainly having a midlife crisis when my teenage daughter is turning 16 years old, old enough to drive and date and, you know, all the wrong stuff. You know, I mean, this is definitely proof that God, you know, you know, payback is, is a bitch, right? Anyway, uh, the reason why I'm standing out in front of Starbucks and talking about this is because the fact that my daughter's turning 16 tomorrow reminds me a little bit about the Starbucks saga right now. And uh, I'll tell you what, let me get back to my computer and I want to uh, talk to you a little bit about why I consider today uh, to be similar to Starbucks situation with them closing 600 stores and really what's kind of going on with that situation as well as me <laughs> finally having a daughter that's turning 16. Oh, by the way, that noise in the background is I'm also across the street from a car wash where it's making plenty of noise, that's for sure. So let me get back to my computer and we can talk some more there. Okay, so I'm back in my office. And no, it didn't take me three days to get back to my office. No, I came back from Starbucks and my daughter says, let's go back out and play golf. And I said, oh, okay, let's go do that. So on Friday after I got done doing that, uh, the earlier talk, I went back golfing again with my daughter. And of course, Saturday was her birthday, and if you look at my schedule, you know that that's a national holiday. So I waited till I got back in the office this week to, to get out of this. But let's talk about my daughter's 16th birthday and the relationship with Star the Starbucks situation. First of all, here's the deal. Every year on the day before her birthday, we have this little joke conversation. And the conversation goes something along the lines like this. I always say, hey, Kelly, I got some really great news for you. And then I got some really not so great news for you. And she goes along with the joke and she says, gee, dad, what's that? And I say, well, I've finally figured out how to be the dad of a 15 year old. Isn't that great? I now know how to do all, do all the right things to be the father of a 15 year old. That's the great news. The bad news is tomorrow you turn 16 and I have no idea how to be the father of a 16 year old. And we get a big laugh out of that because, but part of the argument is that, uh, you know, I'm trying to explain to her that, uh, you know, don't look to me as being perfect. Don't look to me as being able to understand all the right things to do. I'm going to try really, really hard. I'm going to study. I'm going to read things that, that teach me how to be a better dad. Uh, you know, I'm going to observe other parents and watch other parents. And I'm going to do what I can to make the best decisions possible regarding my daughter. And you know what? I'm going to mess up sometimes. I'm going to make some doozy mistakes. In fact, most of the time when I mess up, they're going to be doozies. See, and that's a lot like Starbucks. See, right now, because Starbucks has announced that they're closing 600 stores, there is a huge backlash going. And I mean, I see it everywhere now in, in articles and uh, in talks on, the, on TV and things like that where people are saying, oh, Starbucks, oh boy, they really got stupid. They really got complacent. They really got, uh, you know, arrogant and things like that. Well, you know what? I don't think so. I think Starbucks just made a big mistake. Now, sure, I think there are some of us who may have seen that Starbucks was opening too many stores. Now, unlike what some people are saying on the Internet, that, that the reason why Starbucks is suffering right now is because the economy is tanking and people are pulling back. They don't want to spend, you know, four or five dollars for a cup of coffee anymore. See, I don't think that's true at all. I think what's happened, and I think what Starbucks has said, is that they're closing 600 stores because what they realized is they're putting the stores too close to each other. I mean, within, you know, you know in, in less than a mile and a half around my home, I have four Starbucks, okay? Do I need four Starbucks? No, I only need one, <laughs> really, is all I need, okay? Maybe two, all right? But I certainly don't need four within that area. And uh, so... Uh, you see, people who go to Starbucks, I mean, they're very emotional about this. I mean, I mean the, Starbucks is getting emails and letters and, and, and uh, you know, phone calls from people who are saying, don't close my Starbucks. Oh, my gosh, I, you know, I need my Starbucks. Don't close mine. Close somebody else's Starbucks. 
So you see, there's a very high emotional attachment to Starbucks. So Starbucks has done a lot of really, really good stuff. See, they have worked really hard to make the right decisions. They have studied other companies. They have studied uh, successful companies. And, and they've got very smart people who are sitting down and making some very, very smart decisions. One of them is that they you know, became the third place. You know, we go home, we have our home, we have our work, our, our office, and and they want you to also have Starbucks as, as the third place for them. Very smart. You know, they've created an ambiance that people really like. Uh, they've created an experience that people really like. They've taught us how to learn, you know, they've taught us a new language. You know, who knows? You know, before Starbucks, we were never ordering, you know, half calf, half, half decaf, uh, non-fat, uh, Splenda, uh, Ralph Macchiato, you know, whatever it is. Uh, um, you know, the language that we learned for Starbucks. So they've done a lot of right things. And you know what? When you keep trying things, eventually you're going to get things wrong. You're going to make a mistake. And unfortunately, in Starbucks situation, they made a big mistake. So now they're working to fix that mistake. Will they come back and be as successful as they were before? Well, I think they'll probably be pretty darn successful. Um, will they have that growth rate that they had in the past? Maybe not. Maybe not that big of a growth rate, growth rate but they can still grow. See, the thing is, it's a lot like being the father of a 16-year-old now. I've now been the father of a 16-year-old for three days. I'm better than I was a couple of days ago, but I still have a long ways to go before I figure out how to be father of 16 year old unfortunately by the time i do that she'll be turning 17. where'd that go where'd that go huh didn't go in the hole?